Hello, I am Patty Reimer, Corporate Trainer with Sterling Administration. It is a pleasure to talk with you today. So I am going to show you how to navigate through our online COBRA application. So you'll see on my screen here, I am in the product section of the admin portal. So once you're logged into your admin account that you've just set up, um, you can go ahead and go to products. You'll see from the list that there is COBRA listed. So once you find COBRA option, go ahead and click complete application. Um, if you're going in there as an existing client, um, you may see that next to um, the product type, it might say start application and that's fine. Um, so you'll go ahead and either click start application or complete application. And once we do that, it's going to take us to the application to get started. So you see at the top, we have steps one through six that we're gonna go through to complete the online enrollment of your group in our COBRA services. So let's go on to the application. You see here, the first section is company information. So this is my demo account. So it is pre-filling in the demo account that I've set up. So my company name is pre-filled for me. You'll see that yours will be as well. The next question is the total number of employees insured under your company medical plan. So you'll enter that number here. And then the next question is the effective date for Sterling to take over your COBRA administration. So when would you like us to start doing that? So you can either type that in as um, month, month, um, or sorry, day, 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 month, month, year, 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 year. Um, or you can go ahead and click here on this calendar and you can go ahead and choose the date there. Um, we are able to backdate the effective date of your COBRA administration to the first date of the month that you're filling out this application. So you may do that if you'd like to, or you can set a future date. Down below, you'll see plan options. So going on to the next section, our standard package of COBRA services include the takeover of your COBRA continuance. So if anyone is currently on COBRA, um, we will take that over for free and send them out new welcome letters, letting them know to start sending their premiums over to Sterling along with a coupon packet. Um, we'll send them um, out election packets for new qualified beneficiaries. Um, we handle welcome packets and the acceptance of the QB payments by check, or they can send us a reoccurring ACH transaction at no additional charge. Um, we provide monthly reporting, reporting and remittance of premiums to, um, to back to you via check or ACH. Of course, ACH is preferable. It is so much faster for you to get your funds. Um, we also provide website access to not only you as the employer, um, but we can also provide access for your insurance broker to have access with an additional form. And of course, anyone who goes on COBRA with us will be able to log into the portal to make payments or re, uh, review their activity. So down below, we're going to choose the total number of employees in your company from this list. And this does dictate um, the prices that are charged. So you'll see here if I choose that I have between one and 75 employees, the price for that uh, for an annual fee is $550. Uh, or if I go up to the next tier, it does jump me up. Now keep in mind, if you do have any discounts that you've been promised, these will be applied on your invoice that you received via email. So don't be um, too scared of these prices here. These are just our standard rates and um, any discounts will be applied at the time you receive your invoice. Going down below, we have optional additional COBRA services that you can add on to our basic services. So if you would like for Sterling to provide carrier notifications, so how this would work is um, when you have a qualified beneficiary or someone who is um, losing coverage, you would notify the carrier at that time that you have um, a qualifying event happening. And then we would go as Sterling, send out the welcome packet and the information about elections. Um, and then if your uh, um, QB were to elect COBRA, Sterling would go ahead and reach out to your carrier on your behalf to let them know that someone has elected COBRA and to, to turn their coverage back on. At the point that that person eventually terminates off of COBRA, we would also notify your carrier on your behalf so you don't have to handle that. And you don't have to sit on those long calls and on hold waiting to notify your carriers of those, those events. Um, so if you want to add that, you can just click this button here. And then again, you would choose um, the range of how many employees you have and it would adjust the price here. Going on, we have open enrollment suite. So if you have, um, 
anyone currently on COBRA or within their election period, Sterling can gather up all of your open enrollment materials and we would send them out to those qualified beneficiaries um, or anyone who's on COBRA at that time on your behalf. Um, we would mail each packet out. So if you would like Sterling to take that on for you as well, you can click here and again, you choose the size of your company and it would pre-fill in the pricing for you. Again, any discounts that have been promised will be, um, make sure to have it on your invoice when you receive that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click save and proceed to next step. And by clicking this button, it will save your spot in where you're at on the application. So if you do need to log out, you have something going on, you can always come back in later and finish the application where you left off. All right, so this next step on to step two is the benefit plan information. So when you here, you've seen that I, you can see that I pre-filled one in it here. Um, but if we want to add a plan, um, we could just click that button to add an additional plan in here. So here you're going to type in the insurance company's name. Um, and then down below the plan name. So um, it might be a Aetna, might be like a 70-20 plan, just completely making something up here <laughs> for an example. And then down here you can choose the plan type. So we'll say this is medical. And then you'll choose the state governing the plan. Um, so I'm in California here, so I'm going to choose California, um, and then the plan start date. So this is when this Aetna plan, for example, were to start. Um, so it might be 01, 01, 2019. You can also click on this calendar, and you can choose the dates there if you'd like. Um, in the plan year end date, I'm going to put 12, 31, 2019. And then down below here, we see is the plan self-funded. So if it's self-funded, you'll just check yes. And if it's not, you'll check no. Um, here, does the plan allow for conversion to an individual um, plan? So sometimes our, our carriers do allow the plan to carry over into an individual coverage. Um, so if your plan does allow that, then you can click yes. If not, just click no. Next down the list is, does the insurance carrier direct bill your employees for COBRA premiums? Um, so if they do direct bill and you click yes, unfortunately, um, we are not able to administer your COBRA at this time. Um, you would just need to let your carrier know to stop um, administering your plan with direct bill. Um, in that case, we would be able to administer your COBRA for you. Next down the list is when does employee coverage terminate after a COBRA qualifying event? Um, so you can click either on the event date or the end of the month, month which is the most common. Um, here is, is the plan age rated? So do you have age rated um, rates? So if it is age rated, you'll just click yes here. And the nice thing is right here, you can just um, go ahead and find a file of your rates might be a PDF file, and you can just upload it here for us so you don't need to data enter all of those different age rates. Um, you can just upload that PDF right here and we'll take care of it for you. So if they are not age rated, you'll click no, and then down here you can type in the rates uh, for each tier. Down below is carrier contact information. Um, so these little asterisk, asterisks, oh, can't speak, I'm so sorry. Um, these <laughs> indicate that it is a required field. So you'll want to go ahead and type in the carrier contact name. Now, if you are not electing to have carrier notifications administered by Sterling, um, this information is not required from you. So you can just uh, type in NA into these fields if it doesn't apply. But if we are administering carrier notification services for you, we will need this information so we know how to um, reach out to your carrier and who to reach out to. And keep in mind, if you are typing in NA, um, it does look for the right criteria for an email address. So you can type in, uh, for example, NA at NA.com. That would work perfectly fine. And the address, I'm just going to enter in this. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and click Save here. So now you can see I have two medical plans entered in here. And again, if I had any edits to make, um, I could click Edit and go in there. Or if I wanted to remove it all together, I could click on Remove. 
Um, or if I wanted to add an additional plan, which most likely um, you probably have more than one, you can just click add plan and it um, will allow you to add as many as you need to. So once you've done, uh, once you're complete entering all of your plans, you can click save and proceed to next step. So this is invoice information. So who should we be sending the invoice to for these COBRA services? So you'll want to enter in um, a nice primary contact first. And I'm going to go ahead and enter my name. I'm Patty Reimer. And I'm a corp trainer. And I'll go ahead and enter my number in here. And my email address. And then fax number is not required. Um, and I, of course, am a primary. So I'm going to click save once I've entered that information. So once you've entered a primary and you always want to make sure you have a primary listed, um, you can add additional contacts by clicking on this button. So for example, if you had a, a broker, you wanted to add their contact information onto your account, that's very important. Um, if you had maybe an accounts receivable department that you want to receive those fee invoices, you can enter a fee invoice contact, or if you're working with a general agency. Um, also, keep in mind you can enter as many primary contacts as you need to, because you might have more than one and that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and add as many contacts as you need to. All right, so down below under invoicing and payment, it does ask if you're working directly with a Sterling sales representative. This might be one of our regional sales directors or an account executive. So if you are working with someone to set up these services, go ahead and click on yes and then choose the name of the person that you're working with from the list. Um, so you see we have all of our sales directors and account executives listed here on this list. And then would you like us to send a copy of your COBRA invoice to your broker or general agent? Um, so if you'd like us to send a copy to them, you can go ahead and click yes. But keep in mind, if you don't have a broker or a general agent listed up here in your company contacts, you'll want to make sure to add that so that we can send that to them. So in this case, I'm just going to click no since I haven't entered any broker contacts above. So down below, it does give you the full pricing here, and then it will ask you if you want to pay via check or ACH. So keep in mind, again, this is just the pre preliminary amount. So if you have been promised any discounts, those will be applied before we ACH you. So you can be sure that if you click ACH, don't worry, you'll get an invoice first before we send an e pull an ACH from your account to pay for any fees. All right, so if you choose ACH, you can enter your bank account, the type of account, routing number and account number in here and click save and that will save it in there. And then when you have your um, your fee invoice issued to you, usually within 24 hours, we will invoice, uh, we'll, we will ACH your bank account after you receive the invoice. So if you would like to send via check, um, it does let you know you can mail that check here. Don't worry, we'll also include this information on your invoice when you receive it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click save here. All right, so it looks like our contact information is good. Everything's complete here. We're going to click save and proceed to next step now. So now we're on this number four, step four, we're in the summary. So this is an overview of what we've entered so far. So if we have any edits to make, we can always click the edit button and make any changes at that time. Keep in mind that when you see that these um, sections are in gray, it means that they're complete. But if you were to see one of these sections was in red, it would indicate that some information is missing. And at that time you can click on edit and it will highlight the information on your screen that is missing. But if everything looks good here, you can click on continue. So this is the last step here. Um, we're going to type in the name of the person who is completing this application. In this case, I'm Patty Reimer again. It's going to pre-fill in my company name for me and today's date. Um, right here, you'll see there is an administrative services agreement. So I do recommend going ahead and downloading that and keeping a copy. Um, if you want, you can also get a copy of that from your sales representative. So once you're done, you'll click Submit Form. And once you do so, it will give you a, an enrollment summary. 
So it will give you a, a PDF downloadable copy of your enrollment summary that you've just entered. Um, you can, you will also get this emailed to you. So usually it's in within seconds of you submitting, we will email this file to you as well. So if you do miss it or you forget to save it, um, don't worry, we're going to email you a copy as well. So there you go, um, easy peasy lemon squeezy, and your COBRA account is set up. Thanks so much again for being a Sterling client. We are excited to administer your COBRA and um, take care now. Bye. <laughs>